This is Julius Horsash, the fractal guy. Maybe you've seen some of my work, I'll show you some here. I just wanted to show you some examples of settings and formulas and what kind of effect they have on the world. It's, um, it's, a, it's a pretty crazy world out there in the fractal landscape, so I just thought maybe a relaxing time by looking at some of the parameters and formulas and some we'll look at some some fractal architecture as well we'll say i am not a mathematician and i don't understand anything i don't understand anything of the fractal math i really don't know why it does the magic that it seems to do um, but I do know what formulas do what and what kind of sliders I touch and what kind of effect they have. And that's, what's, that's what I think is interesting. So one of the first things you might notice in the fractal landscape is the abundance of many kinds of pods. I call them pods, I don't know what you would call them. They just they have different shapes. They're usually round, oval, or even shaped like Buddhas. They're defined by, I like the fact that they have a cluster of matter and there's usually some space in between. So they, they're really, really clusters of, of pods and they come in lots of shapes, but I just, I just call them pods. So the amazing surf is a amazing surface. I guess that's what surf stands for. It's a surface. It branches, and um, although it can manifest itself in many ways, sometimes you get to see the tree-like branching structure. Sometimes only the edges are visible, um, but most of the structure seems to be made up by the ends of an infinite branching tree. So whenever you see this branching pattern, you see like a big, like a stem and it branches into two and, and four and 16 and 32 and so on. And then at the very infinite end, it creates this surface. So the amazing box also comes in many different shapes, many different forms, and it can be combined with other things. But it's always characteristic. Um, you can always see its arcs. They, they really stand out. You can recognize them by one side being arc-shaped and the other is flat. Um, and I've seen the structure many times, in many different forms, and sometimes they can really be beautiful, and sometimes not. They kind of sometimes look like um, like big windows from a church or something like that. It's really quite pleasing to the eye. So gnarl is probably one of the most easy concepts to grasp. Gnarl just deforms the world into a wavy world. You can see the waves operate on different levels, and matter can swim through the predefined waves as well. So they're slow to render, um, but they can look really awesome. So, like a straight line becomes organically wavy, and it can have some really interesting effects.
min r or minus r as I call it. I'm not sure if min stands for minus. This is a crazy parameter that you can find in many formulas such as amazing boxes and surfaces. So sometimes it completely remains a mystery. So the minus r will have stuff just like matter just disappear into, into sheer nothingness. And sometimes you can like see the the sphere, like the three-dimensional sphere around the empty void that is sucking up the minus R stuff. Maybe like the like the Terminator robots when they travel through time. Symmetry. So I, I, I hate symmetry. I don't like, it's maybe weird, but I don't like the fact that things are symmetrical and um, I try to avoid it. But it's a fact of life in the fractal worlds. Um, so they seem to exist everywhere, symmetry axes. And sometimes they make matter disappear or reappear like um, quantum particles that like cancel each other out. I don't like it when it happens, but it's just a fact of life. And um, these are some examples. Some fractals are more like solids, but others are like onions. They're like onions in a way that they have lots of different layers. And you can, you can, you can sometimes grow another layer on top and you'll get a different shape, like a different pod. It's So the fold parameter is by far one of the most interesting ones and it will have many different kinds of effects and I hope that this will give you an idea. Matter sometimes comes together and it seems to fuse or it seems to move apart, not like the minus R one where it just disappears. Here it's more like it separates and it flows through space, it can blossom or wither and is maybe one of the most organic things imaginable to me. It comes in many different fractal formulas, you will find the folds slider. Fractals obviously are infinite and one of the coolest things you can do with infinity is zoom into it for a really long time um, and when you do that you feel infinitely small because every time you zoom into a different level you kind of redefine the scale of the world and you just you continuously need to do that in order to keep up with this with this endless zoom and it just redefines how you think about scale. So these were just a couple of the most obvious and clear cases of um, um, shapes, fractal architecture, let's call it, and, and, uh, and formulas and what they do, like the minus R and the fold, which are really cool. Um, I really invite you to, when you have Mandelbulb and you want to play with it, to see if you can find some of the 
formulas like the amazing box and the amazing surf uh, that has have these these properties and uh, and play with those sliders and see if you can can get it, like something or even something cooler and and, and just, that's going to be beautiful